um yeah these definitely came like way above my ankles which was very disappointing but i still nonetheless love these jeans i think that they're so cute i got them in a size small and i went ahead and i just paired it with this really cute graphic t-shirt yeah the graphic t-shirt was literally like 20 dollars once again i paired it with these um cream sandals from simi i have been loving these kitten type of sandals one they're extremely comfortable and i just love the simplicity of them it doesn't feel like i'm doing too much you can dress them up and yet still be casual and chill with like short little kitten heels which i really like but yeah these are the heels they're so Shout out to Simi and Micahs for working with your kindred. I really appreciate it because <laughs> your girl been coming through with the come through with the Instagram photos, okay? Now for my birthday, I haven't even opened this yet, but for my birthday, um, Angui had gifted me a Chanel perfume. I actually never purchased a Chanel perfume before. My literally my go-to perfume is literally um, Black Opium by YSL. And now that I have been working with dossier um they have a scent that smells just like that um it's called ambery vanilla so i've been wearing that because i ran out of my black opium but the ambery vanilla smells just just like the ysl black opium and she got your kindred the 3.4 ounce bottle okay shout out to angui mm. it smells so good i feel like last night i smelled someone last night who had this scent on? Mmm, okay. Memorable. Is that how you're supposed to? Oh. Ooh. Mmm. It smells so good. I'm a mixer. So I wonder what can I mix this with to like give it that like oomph. It already has like a little oomph, but I'm like I said, I'm a mixer and I'm a little dramatic, so I wonder what I can mix this with in my perfume collection now to make it give it that off. But this is so cute. This is definitely going to be a photo prop and one of my next posts on Instagram. <laughs> so yeah, now that we got that out of the way, I'm going to drink my water. God damn. But anyways, now I'm literally about to go on my computer and this is where men would like literally come in handy right now. But it's okay. I'm basically on Google and I'm about to search um, engine for Mini Cooper Roadster Sport 2012. My car is a 2012. And look on auto on auto motics 30 day return. I literally just found a 2012 Mini Cooper engine and I could pay with the firm, bruh. Which is great because my car has been sitting for like a year and a half now. So literally on my car right now, I have like a little over 80,000 miles on it, which I think is really good being that my car is 2012. But I, like I said, I found, oh, I found another one. It's a 2012 Mini Cooper gas engine. Oh, this one said it needs oil. It needs it needs what? It needs upper oil pan. I don't want nothing that needs something. Just give me the damn engine that like in good condition. Runs good. I just have a lot of things that I need to do. So let me like lock in and then I'll tap back in with y'all probably tomorrow. Yeah, because we got a lot of shit that we need to take care of this week. Okay. Okay, so it is a brand new day and I'm just like a little shocked right now. So I had went downstairs to get some mail, came back upstairs, and as I was entering my apartment, this guy, or this man, he's a grown ass man, he had stopped me just to admire my beauty, right? And I'm like, oh, okay, well, thank you, you know, da da da. And then he asked me, he's like, do you like fruit? I said, excuse me? He was like, do you like fruit? I said, um, yeah. He's like, okay, cool. And then he walked out. I'm like, okay. So I walked back into my apartment. Maybe like an hour or so later, I get a phone call from the front desk telling me that I have a package downstairs. Okay, order none. I go downstairs. 
It's a whole fruit basket. Okay, so it looks good, but I'm a little weary. Now, I don't know if, I can't decipher whether or not that was creepy or a kind gesture. Because so even when I went downstairs and I saw it, I'm like, oh my God. And they was like, yeah, um, this guy, da da da. And I was like, yeah, I just saw him upstairs. I was like, yeah, he doesn't even live here. The fact that he don't even live here. And he remembered my apartment number to have the front desk call me to tell me that I have a package downstairs. Okay, so uh, like I said, the fruit looks good. It looks like it hasn't been open, but who knows? And I don't know. I don't know whether or not I should eat it or leave it be. What would y'all do? What would y'all do? I don't know, it looks so good. And I think that the, I wanna believe that that was so nice of him. But, It's so hard. It's, it's so sad that we live in a world where you got to second guess things like this. Like, is this edible or not? But anyways, um, yeah, it's a brand new day. I need to run to the post office. I have this wig, but I also need to go to the gym. So I'm thinking to go ahead and just run my errands first, come back, go to the gym, do a nice little workout, and make me a nice little meal. Um, yeah, so I have to take this week to the post office. Oh, 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 and I got two new packages. Ah! <laughs> it's from this company called Love Honey. Love Honey is this sex wellness um, brand, and they have tons of things, like uh, sex toys, and like lubes, and like lingerie, and just like all sorts of things for men and women. So they were so kind enough to send your girl a rose. I personally already have a rose, so I'm gonna definitely do again. I'm gonna end up doing a giveaway. So one of my kindreds, you guys can enjoy the rose. I know we've had this conversation about like whether or not um, like masturbation is like good or not. I feel like there's nothing wrong with pleasing yourself. It's I feel like safe sex is the best sex and safe the safest sex is with yourself and i don't think that that is i don't think that it's a bad thing i personally don't feel like that that's a bad thing so i condone i i personally condone um being intimate with self and learning your body and exploring your own body it's your body why can't you touch your body it's my body. I should be able to touch my body however I want to touch my body. If it's in a pleasing way. It's not like... Anyways, you guys can like leave your comments and opinions down below. Because I'm very interested. I want us to have that conversation. Like, why is it deemed bad? Why is sexual pleasure to oneself deemed bad? Anyways. Um, but yeah, so they ended up sending me this We Vibe, the original original connection toy so basically um the end with the metal piece that part sits on your clitoris and vibrates like the rose kind of sort of and it vibrates and then the other end goes inside of your vagina so that way you can use this while having sex so like for me i know that i can't just um well i yeah i can't just orgasm off of just penetration that's just not my thing so this would be um very interesting and fun to try one day um yeah i mean it's less work for your partner because i just know that you know in order for me to have an orgasm i my clitoris has to be stimulated along with penetration so it's like less work for your partner because you have this already doing all of the work and they can just continue to do what they do but yeah obviously i'm going to leave this stuff linked down below in the description box if you're interested in exploring or trying new things in the bedroom i think you will definitely love love honey so yeah i'll leave that stuff linked down below and and um i'll uh come back i'll come back with a little review tmi it ain't TMI. We all grown here. Big sister, little sisters, little sisters, big sisters. We all grown here at the end of the day. I don't have no kids watching my channel, so.
Okay, so I have my stuff packaged. I have my little list that I need for Trader Joe's. Make sure I got my wallet. I got some money. Got my key and some chapstick. My Uber. Damn, already one minute away. I wanted to grab some coffee from the office. My coffee machine has my coffee tasting so nasty i tried cleaning it and everything i don't know what to do if you guys have any suggestions on what to do to clean out your coffee machine i have the mr coffee like espresso machine my coffee been tasting so nasty lately and it's like so annoying so i go down to the leasing office to get my coffee Mama looks so sad i want to take her with me but i'm literally coming right back i know i'm literally coming right back But you never caught me stupid Got a long list in my pocket I've been told before I'm ruthless Cause I'm a player by nature But I'll always keep it honest So for you, there's one more spot left in my roster, baby my poor my poor flowers for my birthday mind you I had got like one two three four bouquets of flowers and this is like a mix this is like what's left over so you know you Kendra had to be up on her flowers so I got me some flowers and then I literally went to the grocery store yesterday I went to Whole Foods yesterday and I had got mainly most of like my vegetables and um, fruit and um, today I guess you can do a um, mini Trader Joe's haul. I got some whole wheat. This ain't whole wheat. Y'all thought this was whole wheat bread. This is flourless wheat berry bread. What is that? I don't know, but I got some bread. Wheat berries, dates, and raisins. The source of fiber. Well, flourless. I mean, that's, that's cool, right? And then I got my turkey bacon, um, two packs of turkey bacon, I'll put one in the freezer. I'm supposed to be trying to go meatless, but I don't know if that's gonna work for me. I'm just gonna stay away from red meat and um, like chicken. So I'm really just gonna be eating like seafood and um, ground turkey. And then um, for some reason, the idea of eggs has been turning me off lately. So I looked up this recipe where I can make like tofu and replace for the eggs so i got some firm tofu because i'm gonna i'm gonna try that out tomorrow morning for breakfast then i got this asparagus risotto i like to mix it with spinach and mushroom so good and then sweet potato fries even though i bought some sweet potatoes already but i figured i was gonna make like baked sweet potatoes these are just like something quick and easy um so i can make my like um, I'm gonna make some turkey burgers and then sweet potato fries. That'd be like a nice little lunch or something. Some pico de gallo. I was looking for the avocado spray because I feel like I'd be wasting my avocado when I just buy it by itself. So it's easier for me to just use avocado spray. But they didn't have any, but they did have homestyle guacamole. I mean, same shit. Then I got some Parmesan cheese. Feta cheese for my sandwich. Mozzarella for literally everything else. Got Nala's treats. She loves these uh, chicken tenders from Trader Joe's. That's bag number one. Number two, I got some 100% pineapple juice. Jalapeno lime aid. Ever since I bought this, that one time, I've been buying this every single time I go to Trader Joe's. It's so good. Kosher dill pickles, some spicy dill pickles. Cocoa almond spread. I was hoping that I could find some already pre-made zucchini noodles. But I couldn't find any in Trader Joe's. 
So I was like, you know, screw it. I found these spinach and chive with baby pasta noodles. I'm gonna make some curry shrimp um, pasta. See my all time favorite, the lap bread. Pickle chips from Trader Joe's, they are so good. My ground turkey, this is what I'm gonna use to make my turkey burgers. A vegetable samosas. I don't know, but they look good though, so. I'll try them out one day. Now I'm like making them food. And then of course I had to get me some beef patties. I like Trader Joe's because everything is so small and petite. So you don't feel guilty. If you have like a little sweet tooth, go ahead and get you a little tiny cheesecake cone. Ain't gonna hurt nobody. Just make sure you don't eat the whole box. Hey, look, I'm not about to torture myself because I want to lose weight and, and get toned. And I just, I can't do it. Not right now, not in this space in my life, okay? I need to be happy. Then I got some syrup. Why did I get syrup? Oh, my pancakes for my breakfast. And then the cumin. So with the with the tofu egg, they said to use like turmeric and I used to call it cumin, but Brandon was like, what did you just call it? I was like, cumin. He's like, it's cumin. I said, no, it's not. He was like, yes, it is. Is it cumin or cumin? I don't know, but I'm gonna say cumin because cumin does sound like good. So that was everything that I got from Trader Joe's. Now I'm about to go ahead and make my little bouquet. And then we're gonna go downstairs to the gym and work off them chips we just ate. Hey Google, play jazz. Check out this jazz station on YouTube Music. But for you, the one most bad in my rasta, baby. I literally just did 25, 20, 25 minutes on the treadmill, but I did do a high incline. My incline, well, I don't know if that's considered high, but my incline was on five, and my speed was on 5.5. I went between like four and 5.5, and I did that for like 20, 25 minutes, and then I just did four sets of um, squats using um, 50 pounds, and then I did four sets of um, calf raises, um, 50 pounds as well. And then after that, more people started coming into the gym. And when people start coming into the gym, I just be over it. So I was like, eh, I'm ready to go. I was tired anyway, so I'm about to shower. It is currently now 6.27, almost 6.30. Technically time for dinner, but I'm not hungry. And that's the thing. I don't wanna like force myself to eat when I'm not hungry. But then by the time I do get hungry, it's gonna be late. So I don't know. I'm just gonna shower real quick and then get on my computer to see what my to-do list said to see what else that I can accomplish today. It's currently what? Oh, it's Saturday. Damn, it's Saturday already. Yeah, it's Saturday and really I just need to prep for my Sunday reset day. So that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna stay in tonight. Uh, I guess I'm not staying in the house tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna go meet up with Angi. It's our friend Phil's birthday. Y'all just went to the gym a couple hours ago. And I am nibbling on candy. This health journey gonna be a little lot really difficult. Cause the discipline ain't there. I ain't gonna do too much, this is last minute. Technically I need to get ready in like 15 minutes. But I'm gonna try to be ready in like 20, 30 minutes. Wish me luck. That's how you know you're getting older. They don't play stuff like this, huh? Maybe I'm I just wanna show you you are, you should let me love you. Make my heart go from bottom to love. Something new, so sexy about I don't wanna get on need to need my help. You could bring me to so many tears, 
after all these years. Alright, I'm gonna do my hair and get dressed. I'll be back. Come on now. Ah, see you, lady. When you need me. Oh, man. Oh, my. Which one was that? The brown? I need the black before the brown. Will you be mine? Be my sweet love. Love before a lifetime. I'll be there, yeah. Hey, Google. Pause. My Uber is about to pull up. I literally just threw on. Y'all already saw this outfit before it. I don't care. I literally just threw on this near de Bois outfit that I wore. This is like my third time wearing it, but whatever. So I'm wearing the Chanel that Ogby got me. Hey Google, pause. And then I think I'm just gonna go ahead and mix it with, mm. what's floral marshmallow? I don't know, but I'll mix it. Hopefully that does something. Make sure I got some lotion on the back of my neck because that thing be ash. Y'all don't forget to lotion the back of your neck. Okay. And then back here. And then that's all I got. That's all she wrote. Let me message the Uber and say be right there. And uh, yeah. Hair should be. There we go. Hi. Such a doll, baby. Yeah, I'm just going to step out. See, I didn't plan this, y'all. I didn't plan this, but I'm going to step out. I'm just going to have a good time, not drinking. I'm just not drinking either, which is great. So, you know, no peer pressure over here. And, yeah, I'll see y'all.